Today on FTR TV, we are at the Reefster event at Pet Quarters. G'day everyone, my name is David Mine. Welcome back to First Time Reefer TV. And today we are continuing our tour around the headquarters, uh, Newcastle Thornton store. And we are, I've come up for the Reefster event which is a, uh, a reefing frag event they've uh, sort of put on uh, in their store here uh, for allowing people to come and buy some frags. This is their display store here and there's a, also a section at the back. But uh, let's go check it out and show you some of the corals. So there's the pet quarters frag tank here. They are jamming, so I am gonna try and squeeze through. I reckon they've sold probably about half of the coral already in this tank. Uh, in saying that though, Ali, if you're watching this, I have a snagged beautiful piece uh, for you, which is, as soon as he gets out of the way, I'll, I'll jump in there and I'll show you. Before we get to that, some beautiful Mackay trackies in there. Gorgeous color in them. We'll go from the top down, hopefully. Absolutely stunning. Nice big chalice over there, some fungus. And you can see there's heaps of them bagged up, ready to go. So a lot of already out of the tank. But uh, this piece here, yeah, that one there is sold and that's coming home. That's a gorgeous piece. As soon as I saw the photo of that, I definitely wanted to grab it. Uh, but you can see heaps of LPS in here. We'll swing around to the other side. Absolutely a monster of a chalice in there. And then we got some uh, Hulk torches, hammers, LPS. A nice selection of uh, frags in there. So that's the pet quarters, boys. Uh, we're going to come back. We're going to come back to Chris Talbot from Aqua Premium in a second. And he's going to run us through all of his products. But big red sea tank here with this nsa style scape and i couldn't be happier that this scape is sort of taking over and becoming the norm but uh some, you know some beautiful arches using the marco rock shelf pieces there nice overhangs nice clear open swimming space plenty of platforms to mount corollas in as you can see there but heaps and heaps of space and that's uh, one of the new Red Sea monster tanks there. Really, really nice running with the Red Sea lights as well. But uh, yeah, really, really nice. Huge, huge bracelet system. And a beautiful rocker. I think Paul Rudder actually made that himself too. So pretty talented little bloke he is. And we got a, uh, a Cade frag system over here by the looks of it just with a stack of clowns and nems in there. Nothing like a harem of clowns swimming around to get all the kiddies excited. A couple of black storms in there as well. I have a feeling these might be from Matt Bates. So I will double check that. And if it is, we're going to run through the system in a bit. We'll just get to it. We'll walk out the back here now. I've got to hurry up because I'm doing a presentation soon. I still don't, want, don't know what I'm going to say, but uh, we'll come out the back here. This is the little Reefster frag setter. We'll run you around and show you some of the coral that's available. Got some, uh, some reeks in there. Melted rainbow. That is cool. That's like a fluoro green polyp. That looks really cool. I think I'm going to grab a piece of that. Rose gold, purple kale, green lantern, lava island, mystic sunset, chili pepper. Some wicked names here. Some nice pieces of, uh, I think they're aquacultured lobophilia out the back there, I'm pretty sure. That's like a pipe fish I was getting a photo of. I'll see a couple of people there as well, just showing what's Literally uh, two seconds later. Well, it's going to look, <laughs> I think, like. Just had to go over here. <laughs> we'll come out. Got uh, a full range of aquifers gear up on the shelves here, some more stock. Little stage set up up the front there as well with a screen so you can see what everything is going on. Uh, but we roll into this. And this is uh, my homie Lamb from Fish Our Friends. 
This is his tank here, lit up with an Illumagic X4 light, which is the same that I'm running at home. We're going to do a detailed video about this here while I've got uh, Anthony from Delua. It's got the little clips on there with the little holes there mounted directly to hold these Vitamini strips. You can see it's a super neat setup there and just the coverage is impeccable. But even better is the range of coral he's got here. That's the scalemia he's got. Some trackies which will look from the front. Some next level pieces as always from Fisher Friends. Some gorgeous, the uh, Iron Man A-can there. A couple of other rainbows. This one here is like an Inferno A-can. I don't know if that's the name, I just made it up, but that looks, sounds pretty cool. This Scully here is gorgeous. This red, orange, green, yellow, just different colors everywhere. A couple of other master grades there, and we all know that Lamb is the king of master grade Scullies. He had a few nice pieces before, but man, I took too long to actually come here and take a video, and he sold so many pieces. You can see half the tank is empty, so he sold half of it, but the color on this tank is, I'm telling you guys, even better in person under the X4 here in the vitamin E combo, but I hooked them up with this little bracket there. So that's a 2060 aluminum extrusion, a couple of clips to hang on to the side there of the ghost mounts, and just a really neat way to mount your lights. You can see it's super, super sleek, especially with those provisions to hold the uh, vitamin E uh, acrylic clips in there as well. So this is gonna be awesome, but we will run through that, but stunning tank there. We'll come over to this side and he's got his second tank which is the uh, the traditional Delua frag tank he has that's running a couple of the Illumagic Blaze X minis with uh, two of the Vita mini strips and uh, you can see Lamb always brings the lollipops wherever he goes <laughs> most girls their milkshakes bring all the boys to the yard but Lamb's coral will bring all the boys to the yard right so it's a beautiful uh, hammer, nice reverse stem hammer there. Cup of alveopora. Some beautiful little button scollies up there. Crazy collection of rigs as well. And then blastos. Man, your tank's half empty, bro. <laughs> Actually, I shouldn't swear. Um, gorgeous Donny there. That one's really nice. That one there. That one there. And that banana pora, telling you that's one of the hottest corals going around at the that's moment. Dish, oh, that's a dash. That's a dash. Damn. Damn. That's a retina burning on fire dash. That's crazy. It's cute though. Really cute. But yeah, nice pink goni as well. This one here is a pretty unique color for a goniopora. But this one here is probably one of my favorite rigs going around at the moment. That sort of just that bright highlighter yellow rig. Uh, oh, the big one sold already then. Oh, gone, bro. Bro. I should have spent less time drinking coffee. <laughs> but yeah. And uh, just if anyone's, I've had heaps of messages asking what happened to Lamb's store tour video. Because Lamb refused, <laughs> Lamb refused to pay me for my video. So I deleted it off YouTube, man. You gotta pay me, bro. No, just joking. I accidentally deleted it, but that video is gonna get restored. But uh, it's got a couple of, actually, he's done a couple of scapes with Jag Deep uh, from Jag Aquatics uh, using the David Meyer style of aquascaping, which I'm gonna call it now. This is using the Marco Rock as well. These are a couple of little nano tanks, uh, nano tank scapes, sorry. Um, and that's in the, these are all the water box peninsula tanks. Yeah, that's the 25, the 20, and then the 15th peninsula. Yeah, cool. Yeah. You can see a little structure like this, like this, I think they cost like two or 300 bucks, roughly. 350, yeah. 350 a structure. But you take that home, chuck it in your tank, and you're gonna look like the, the Takashi Amano of the marine world. But you can see beautiful ledges to mount all your corals onto there. Nice open area underneath to get all your flow kicking through there. This one here in particular is absolutely gorgeous. This as a NEM tank or a hammer tank, just stacked with heaps of LPS on that, would look absolutely stunning. So Jag's done some fantastic work. We've got the glue here available as well. Uh, that's the glue that I'm bringing in, guys, if you want to try out this scape for yourself. 
a Marco rock, bit of sand or crushing up the Marco rock and this is what you can create. So if anyone needs some glue, hit me up. Or you can hit up Lamb as well, he'll be stocking the glue now, but an ex 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 exceptional range of scapes here. But uh, Fisher friends, Shop 116, Swettenham Road in Minter. I will restore his video once he pays me. So, and we just got another water box tank over here just as display. And then I think these are all the raffle prizes, I think. I'm pretty sure they're the raffle prizes. So we'll get back to that in a second. The sexiest guy in the reefing industry, Mr. Pat Predu, he's up there pretending to know what he's doing. You're doing a really good job pretending, man. Thank you. <laughs> See a few people here today. Yeah, plenty of coral, but I'm hoping to find some of this uh, KH Keeper stuff that should be uh, around, but that is the Reefster event, guys. So that's the Reefster event down here at Pet Quarters in Thornton. Uh, if you like this video, smash that like button. If you've got any comments uh, that you want to ask Lamb himself, leave a comment in the comment section down below. And my friends, be sure to subscribe to this channel. And until next time, peace.